friends, it's Janice Baylor back with you again in the art studio for another fun drop-in art session. I'd like to thank Perry County Council of the Arts as well as their participating sponsors for continuing to allow us to have drop-in art sessions virtually. So today we are going to make a really great giftable item, very useful, especially for Read Across America, these awesome little bookmarks. So go ahead and get ready to read up a storm. We are going to make these and the supplies and everything you'll need to do to make the project is coming right up. For today's project, you will need a piece of white cardstock, some Mod Podge or Elmer School Glue, a paintbrush, a pair of scissors, maybe some ribbon, and an assortment of colorful tissue paper as well as a hole punch. To get started making our bookmarks, we are going to cut a nice long rectangle. So to kind of get a good rectangle shape, I'm going to fold my paper over so that I can make the edges even, and that will help me know where to cut. You could also use a ruler and make lines, but if you don't have that available, this is a great way to do that. Now, if you can see, I have a nice straight line because I lined up all those edges and I can just cut on the straight line with my scissors to cut out my bookmark. Okay, so now I have a piece that's about two inches or wide. And then I'm going to get my tissue and to create the stained glass effect, we're going to cut up little pieces of the tissue paper. So you can use anything that you have. I have a little red. I have this pretty hot pink color. And I have this fun one that has some sparkles. So you can use anything that maybe is left over from gift wrapping. Um, maybe you got gifts for a holiday recently, but anything you would like to use. And I'm just going to cut it into squares. You just need a few squares of each color. You can make them whatever sizes you like, big or little or just cut it up into all sorts of fun shapes. You have fun with it. And then we are going to use our paintbrush to apply the Mod Podge or Elmer's glue. And you wanna just get a little bit on your brush and make a nice thin coating on top of your cardstock. Just work in little areas, fill that whole section up, and then apply your paper to the top of it and you can paint it down. So it's probably a good idea if you have a covered surface to work on. And you'll see that you're able to a little bit see through the colors as you work. Like here you can see my dots behind. And I would say maybe just trying to have things overlap in an interesting way and not really the same colors next to one another. And then you can move down and coat the background here. I'm going to do a big stripe of pink down this side. And maybe another pink over here. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of red Oh, try to keep it straight, not crumpled, because glass wouldn't be crumpled. And I'm going to lay my white on top. Just have fun filling up the surface of your bookmark. And I'm even going to layer some additional white on top so I get a little bit more of that fun sparkle effect because I'm really liking that I found the sparkle paper. 
And one more piece of hot pink over here on this edge. And there we have the background. So now we just need to let it dry. And you can do both sides if you want to, or you can just leave one side blank, or you could write something on the back or keep little notes. And once this dries, I will come back and show you how to finish it all up. Okay, so once our bookmark is dry, we wanna flip it over onto the back and neaten up any of the tissue that may have gone over the edge when we were doing our stained glass. So go ahead and just use the hard edge of your piece of cardstock and trim along that to neaten it up. And now we have nice sharp edges all the way around. And we want to come in on the top of our bookmark if you want a tassel and maybe go down about a half an inch and poke a hole with a hole punch. You could stop before all of this if you like just having a really simple piece of a colorful paper for your bookmark, but if you prefer having a tassel so you can find it easily, then go ahead and make a hole with a hole punch. Get yourself a piece of ribbon or twine or yarn, whatever you have on hand. I have this hot pink ribbon that kind of matches with the tissue that I used. And then we want to fold it into a loop and pinch that loop and thread it through our hole. And then we're going to take the uh, loose ends and put them through the loop and then just pull that gently closed to make our nice little flat loop for our bookmark. And there you have a beautiful stained glass bookmark that you can use to mark your spot in your favorite book. Enjoy reading and stay creative, friends.